Hi Sunshines and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a Stitch Fix unboxing for you. My Stitch Fix box did come right before or actually during the time I was in DC for Dawson's Hockey Tournament and it is time to send it back. I'm getting the email saying, are you ready to check out? So I only have about a day left before it needs to go back and let me know your opinions. I did take a peek on the app and one thing in the box kind of excites me, but also kind of scares me, which is why I love my stylist. So we'll definitely see about that. Before we get started, my name is Christy. Welcome to my channel. I am very happy to have you. Comment below where you're from so I can welcome you personally. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and we're going to talk about all things Stitch Fix. But thank you to each and every one of you, honestly, from the bottom of my heart for spending time out of your day to watch my video. All right. So in all honesty, I did open this box and started filming it and I was really really struggling so um, I'm redoing it so I only saw two of the pieces which is okay but we're gonna try this again stitch fix is a monthly subscription box it is clothing you get five pieces if you buy one or all five pieces of clothing you get your $20 styling fee back and if you buy all five also you get um, I think a 20% discount which is amazing I did join a pilot program stitch fix is having watch your emails if you're a stitch fix subscriber because I had actually missed mine and went back when I heard somebody else talking about it and searched my emails and they had sent me one so basically you can do um, a $49 styling fee and that covers the entire year but better yet it comes off any piece of clothing that you buy so for me it's a no-brainer no more styling fees the rest of the year and I get to use that $49 credit so I feel like there's something in here that I'm kind of feeling like I, I can afford to be a little extravagant about because I have that credit we will see though so let's go ahead and get started typically in your box you get a self-addressed envelope that is postage paid so you can send anything back that you don't like you get a breakdown of the prices from your stylist which is always handy to have. I'm not gonna look at that right now. And you get some styling cards. They tell you how you can style your pieces and a note from your stylist. My stylist is Catherine and she said, I'm so excited to send you a special piece from our new exclusive brand, Gold Ray. This brand echoes some of the trendy pieces you will find at stores like Zara. I love Zara. The black jumpsuit, the item that I'm excited about but scared at the same time, will look awesome on your tall frame and will be something different to add to your wardrobe. Let's see, perfect in place of a dress for church or with some fun heels and jewelry for a night out. Also, it is not ideal if you have to run to the ladies room, but I think the fun factor is worth it. Last month, you were looking for a white button down and you found one, or I found one from Current Air for you to try. It's cotton and has a bit of whimsy on the back. Let me know what you think, Catherine. All right, yeah, so she was talking about the jumpsuit. You know, if you wear a jumpsuit, you have to pull it all the way down when you go to the bathroom. It's not like pants that you can pull down. So that's the only downside of jumpsuits, but they are so cute. All right, so the first thing I got are these beautiful, I can't tell, in some lights they look slate blue, and in some lights they look like teal green. There are these suede scalloped flats. I am a flat girl all the way, and I just think they are beautiful. These are by Tahari, and they're 70 nine dollars let me see yeah they're 79 dollars tahari is such a great brand and they're suede so i don't really think that's a bad price for these shoes and like i said with that 49 dollar credit i can afford to be a little frivolous this month so these might be a keeper we will see about that if they fit all right the next thing in here and i actually saw if you watch desiree her channel is seaweed starfish she actually got this in it's a white button down shirt and it says chow on the back her comment was, I have long hair and you're never gonna see the chow. And my comment is, I have short hair and you're always gonna see the chow. So I'm not sure how I feel about it. I do think the chow, although is fun, I'm not sure if it limits the ways to wear it. Let me know your thoughts on that. I do want a cotton white button down shirt. This may be closer to what I want. I'm really wanting like a really soft. I used to have one from the Gap years ago, like super soft, like it's been washed a hundred times. It looks really great with like really washed out denim jeans, like the really light wash. And I just think that would be pretty for spring. So we'll see what I think about this. This feels like it might have a little more structure than I want, but maybe not as you wear it. It might break in a little bit. All right. The next thing in my box. Oh, I didn't tell you how much that was. Sorry. 
I get so excited. Okay, so that shirt is by Current Air. It's the Megan Chow Embroidery Detail Top for $64. And then this next top is by Truly Poppy. It's the Tiffany Tulip Sleeve Blouse for $58. Now, the first thing going for it is this beautiful hunter green. I'm not typically a super floral girl, but I like the coral flowers in this. I like the little bit of a girly detail. It's really pretty. See, it's got like, they call these tulip sleeves. And then it's a little bit of a ruffle around the collar. So that may be something up my alley. Very pretty. All right, the next thing is something blue. Did you guys know I love blue? I'm a blue and green girl. Oh, I do remember seeing this in the preview. Okay, this is a cold shoulder. And this is by Pale Sky. It's the um, crystal cold shoulder top for 68. It's really pretty. This is sort of like that peasant top look, but with the cold shoulder added. And I kind of think I'm in love with this. It's got the little tassel, the crocheted down the front. It's very wrinkled, but you know, you can always iron it. I'll have to see what it's made out of. It's so soft. This feels like the perfect summer. You could put this with white shorts or white jeans, light jeans. I think that's really, really pretty. It's totally breathable. And I think for here in the South, it's 80 degrees today. It's gonna be a great piece. So crossing my fingers that that fits. And last but not least is the jumpsuit. Okay, the material is not what I was expecting. I was expect expecting more of like a cotton. So this is what it looks like. It's got a little V in the front got short sleeves it's got a peekaboo at the back and then it ties on both sides at your waist so you, I guess you can cinch that in it's got pockets who doesn't love a good pocket and then the legs aren't super wide but they're wide enough that they'll flow pretty when you walk so hmm not sure how I feel about that. Very interested to try it on though. And let's see the price and the stats on this guy. This is the Gold Ray Cali Knit Jumpsuit. That jumpsuit is 68 bucks. Whoa, that's an amazing price. So and again, like she said, it would be a good staple in my wardrobe. So I'm gonna go try all this on and I will let you know what I think. I'll be right back. All right, so I have this cute little jumpsuit on. It is adorable, but I'm long-waisted, and it is really not great. I keep wanting to pull it down to my more natural waist, and when I lift up, it comes way up here, which is giving me a little bit of camel toe, not good ladies, and a little bit of a wedgie in the back. The legs are great. I'm not loving the ties. I like the idea of them and what they do to cinch in your waist, but I don't know. I think it's just not for me. Uh, here are the little flats. I wouldn't wear this with this jumpsuit, but I just put them on today. The more I look at them, the more I just feel like they don't look spring. The suede spring screams fall to me. So I think I'm going to pass on these also. All right, so I have this little cold shoulder peasant top on. I really like it. It's a little wrinkly, but I can handle that with a good iron. And it's super light, comfortable, easy to wear. I like it. I do too. I think with white jeans, it will be really cute in the spring and summer. So I think this may be a keeper and I'm going to move on to that little green floral top. Okay, I have this little hunter green top on with the coral flowers. I really like it. It's got a little high low action to it. I think the collar is really feminine and girly for spring. This is what it looks like. So I think this may be a keeper. Let me know your thoughts. Also, I wanted to tell you when I took off that jumpsuit, I didn't have it buttoned in the back. So I apologize, there is a button on the back of it. All right, and so I now have that little white long sleeve chow top to try on. All right, so I'm back with a little button down. This is definitely more of the style I was thinking with the button down. I think I could do a front tuck with it. Uh, the sleeves are a tiny bit long. I could roll them up for sure, which is probably what I would do for spring anyway. So I'm not sure about this one. Tell me what you think. Do you like the chow? Usually I like a little bit of kitsch, but I'm not sure about this one. I'll be right back with my feedback. All right, so I'm back with my recap. Just FYI, I'm gonna leave the link to Stitch Fix down below if you would like to try your first one. Definitely um, click that. These shoes, although I really like them, they just feel with the suede to be really fall to me and not spring. So I'm not gonna end up keeping those. This 
cute, adorable jumpsuit that is the absolute most amazing price. Just didn't work for me. I'm just so long waisted. I just kept, kept having to pull it down. And honestly, who wants some camel toe action? Not me. Uh, <laughs> the little, I don't know, I would call this a little peasant top is so cute. It's breathable. It's easy to wear. It's just really cute. So I think I am going to get that shirt. Y'all know I love a cold shoulder. This little hunter green top is pretty. It's feminine. I think it'll fit into my wardrobe. Let me know your thoughts on this though. And then last but not least, this is my unknown and it's the chow shirt. I do like it, but I don't know if it's 100% what I want but sometimes your want changes. So let me know your thoughts on this. Would you wear this type of shirt? Um, how do you feel about the chow? Anyway, I will see you later. Don't forget to leave positive comments down below and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.